what's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we got this statics problem here, so you probably came here because you got a lot of uh, strings going on and you're a little confused. That's all right, let's figure it out, right? So we have this whole system going on and it gives us the mass of the thing getting hung at H and it wants us to figure out, you know, every tension in every cable. So there's five parts because there's five cables, so let's go ahead and find all the cables. I'm not going to do them in order, by the way. We're just going to find each one however it comes up. So what we want to do is start with the force body diagram. But in this case, we're actually going to need two force body diagrams, right? Because any point we pick, there's going to be more cables that we're not uh, accounting for. So let's make two force body diagrams. So let's start with one in A, and let's do one in B. So let's go to A first. So here's A. So there's force here. This is force of H. And then there's just this one. Label that force of E. And then there's this one. Label that maybe AB force. Right? And we know that this is 60 degree angle. Cool. So then let's do the next one. So we're at B now. B. So we have, again, we have force AB. But this time it's force BA, so it's different, but it's the same. Right? This force is going to be equal to this force in magnitude. And this is going to be force C. And then this is going to be force D. And then this is. Oh, uh, that's the wrong way to draw it. I guess it works. Let me erase that. So we have these two uh, diagrams. So let's start from the bottom and work our way up, right? Well, let's look at this string first of all. Force uh, E, or force H. So force H is just holding our mass, right? So if force H is holding our mass, we can just say that like force, uh, this marker's kind of dead. I need a new marker, right? Force H is just gonna be mass times gravity, right? mass times gravity. So force H, we know the mass, 30 kilograms, and then we're on gravity 9.81, or on Earth 9.81. So we're going to write that over here, we're going to make a little list. Force H is going to be 30 times 9.81, which is 294 newtons. Cool. Nice, we figured out one of the five. Let's do the next ones. So then let's work our way up again, right? So maybe how about force A, or yeah, let's do force AB. This one's gonna be pretty useful. So let's do this, looking at this 45 force study diagram, we wanna do some of the forces, right? Which way are we gonna do it? Well, we just found out H. So if we do some of the forces in the Y direction, we're just gonna have AB and H, and we know that's gonna be equal to zero, so we can find AB, so let's do that. So looking at A, some of the forces in the Y direction at A, maybe. Label that is going to be equal to zero. And let's do it. So force H is pulling down, so it's going to be negative force H. And then we're going to be adding force AB. But force AB, we're not adding all of it. We're going to add just what's in the y direction. So we're going to have to take this 60 and find what's in the y direction. So if we use sine of 60, we're going to find the y component. Right, so nice. So then let's move this to the other side. FH is equal to F. Sine of 60, and then let's divide by sine of 60. So force H, right, we just found is 294 divided by sine of 60 is equal to force AB. All right, then we can find force AB just by doing this math. Is equal to 340, I think that's a 340, let me try to find it, yeah. Can't read my own handwriting sometimes. Now these are all magnitudes, so I'm just going to not label these vectors, but it doesn't matter how you want to do it. So there we go, we found force AB. Let's do one of the next ones. How about force E, right? Well, now we can take this, and we can do some of the forces in the X direction here. So we have some of the forces in the X direction here. That's FE and FAB. We know FAB, and it's going to be equal to zero, so we can find FE. Some of the forces in the X direction is equal to zero. So force AB is pulling backwards, so let's say force AB is negative 340, or I guess we can, let's write it up first, right? It's pulling backwards, force AB. And then we're looking for just the X direction. So if we're gonna find this X direction here, we need cosine of 60. And then we're gonna add FE, right? Because it's just pulling to the right. 
So then if we just move this over, we're going to get 340 cosine of 60 is equal to Fe. And Fe, well then we calculate it to be 100 semi-newtons. Nice, so that's our next one. Cool, so we finally got past this force body diagram. We totally understand what's going on here. So now we can just go ahead and work our way to this next force body diagram. Oops. All right, so let's look at this force body diagram. How about we start with, uh, what did I do? I did force BD. All right, so I'm gonna do force D, right? So let's find force D. So it's gonna be some of the forces in the Y direction. And then this is gonna be equal to zero because we're at equilibrium. So let's think what's happening. So force BA is pushing down. So negative force BA. And then we're gonna add force BD or force D. But not all of force D, right? And actually not all of force A either, right? I made a mistake there. So let's look at our angles, right? If this angle is 60, uh, then what other angle is gonna be 60? So this angle is gonna be 60 degrees. Right, just by similar triangles. So then, if we're gonna take this and we're looking at just the y direction, we need to attach what to this, right? It needs to be sine, right? Because sine is gonna give us the opposite, which is gonna be the vertical component here. So then we need to add force BD, right? Or force D, just force D. And then we're gonna take, what's the y component of this? Well, three over five, right? Because the hypotenuse to, or the, the y to hypotenuse ratio is three over five. So if you multiply that by force D, you're just gonna get the y component. Right, so force BA is the same as force AB, right? We said force AB is equal to 340 newtons, so then we can say force BA is also equal to 340 newtons, and we know it's pushing downward, which is this negative sign, so we already accounted for that. So move this over to the other side, we're gonna get 340 sine of 60 is equal to force D, three over five. So then of course we're gonna multiply the five thirds over. 340 sine 60. So we'll do this. Force D uh, is equal to 491 newtons. Nice. Figure that part out. Cool. So then all we have left is force C. So let's do force C. Get rid of all this. Don't need any more. All right. So force C. Some of the forces in the x direction, right? Because force C acts in the x direction, so we have to do x. So we know it's equal to zero. And so what's it equal to? So force C acts negative. So we're gonna add a negative there because it's pushing negative x. So then we have to add these two together. So let's do force BA. And then what's the angle on this gonna be, right? So we're finding the x direction. So if this angle is 60, we're gonna use cosine of 60. And then this one, we're gonna add force and then what's the ratio of x to hypotenuse? Well, this is four over five, right? Because it goes four x for every five hypotenuse. So if we multiply by four fifths, we're gonna get the x component. So then if we move fc over, we'll get fc. Then we'll get fba is what we found, 340 cosine of 60 plus fd. fd, we found that, right? 491, four over five. Did that right? Yep, I did do that right. And then, of course, we're going to get FC now is equal to 563. I hope 563. So let me make sure I copy these all down because I sometimes just put the wrong number on the board, which is embarrassing. 294, 340, uh, 170. Press 170. Yep, 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 yep. Looks good. All right, nice. So that's how you do this problem. Not too tricky, but you have to make two force body diagrams, right? You just have to be able to consider everything and take it one step at a time. So if you break things down, it gets a lot easier. So that's what I recommend you guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.